it is Lauren Delisa Coleman back with another interview during South by Southwest. What's going on everybody? It is Lauren Delisa Coleman and I am back with another interview right here at the official Filmio Filmmakers Lounge during South by Southwest 2024. And this is gonna be a fun one. There's like mad high energy <laughs> in the room right now. I am with the writer, director, and one of the producers of Bob Trevino Likes It. And how lucky are we to also get the leads, the wonderful John Leguizamo and Barbie Ferreira. And we are just going to get into this film right now. You guys, thanks so much for taking the time because I know you are running, hustling, doing a hustling. bunch of stuff, <laughs> right? Know. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good. Um, let's start by hearing a little bit about this film because it's really like touching. We were talking a little bit, and I'm like, I, I know I'm going to like cry with this whole film and all that. <laughs> so break it down for us, please. Bob Trevino likes it. Um, what's it? It's a, inspired by a true friendship and true story of how I was looking for my dad online. I had tried to reach him. He was angry with me. I was trying to reach him to reconcile. You know, called him, emailed him. Couldn't. You know, he wouldn't call me back. And I, I thought maybe he's on Facebook. I'll try it another way. You know. So I put his name into Facebook, um, and I didn't. Fr I accidentally friended another man with his name, and that man ended up being more paternal and kinder, and you know, just more like family than my dad ever was. So, so it's a story about you know. Um, how sometimes uh, you have to let go of the people that hurt you to, to make room for the people that want to love you. Mm. Yeah. I, I love this, and I mean, it could have gone so many different ways, right? Yeah. But you happen to get somebody who was fulfilling you in the way that you kind of were looking for anyway, yeah, right? Absolutely. So it just shows that you never know who can actually yeah. Yeah. kind of partner with you. I don't want to say fulfill, because we all really are, but just to be able to kind of partner with you in that life journey, right? Absolutely. Very cool that you could take your own story and kind of bring it to life. How did you end up working with these two fabulous people? Well, I'm very lucky. Uh, I, I knew I wanted Barbie. I, you know, I'd seen her work and I'd seen all these sides of her, and I thought Lily had this is this is Lily. You know, I, there were moments in her other performances where I was like, that's Lily, you know, right there. And and I, I just, you know, I just knew, I just knew. And and it, we made the offer to her, and we met up, and and I was like, she's everything, everything I knew she would be, and more, you know. Sweet. So um, so it was just wonderful, you know. So luckily she said yes, and uh, of course. yeah, and she, she, was a, she was the first one on, you know, and then um, later we went to John, and, and I, I just feel extremely lucky, you know. Um, I'd, I'd watched his, his work my whole life, and, right. and then, you know, I try, to, I try to really have, you know, I, I always want to have run a good set and have kind people, too, so I, I, I thought that you would be a kind person, but <laughs> you I, weren't sure. Yeah, yeah, I, just, I, I, I thought, you know, you know, you know I thought. You know, yeah. I, I, but I had to watch a lot of interviews, you know. I watched a lot of interviews, <laughs> and, I, and I also try to look at, like, how are people, when they don't know they're on camera, how are they treating people mm -hmm. or things like that. Mm -hmm. And I was watching this one interview with him, and he was just so kind, and he was talking about, you know, this is, this is really a, a movie that's anti-bullying, in a mm -hmm. way. It's, it's mm -hmm. you know, there's so many negative stories about social media, and this is like, well, what could you do? How can you use it for good, and how, what does kindness do? How does that change the world? And when he was talking about this and talking about family and all these things, I was like, he gets it. This, he gets it. Not only is he going to knock it out of the park, you know, performance-wise, but he gets it as a human being, you mm -hmm. know? So I flew to New York and met with him, and it was a great meeting, and lucky again, he said yes, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so here we are. Yeah. How can I not say yes to this beautiful movie? You know? <laughs> I was so, I was so, when I got the script, I just felt so lucky to even um, be a part of that conversation with Tracy. I very rarely um, read something that's so powerful and so real and honest and the writing mm. was so good. I always look for the writing first um, because with good writing, it, it really just allows you to just, you know, go to your full potential in your performance. Um, so the writing was just so great and then meeting Tracy was so lovely and we share so many similar things and also not so similar things but we, we <laughs> would chat and, and um, yeah, it just felt like something that I've always wanted to do and it's very personal too. So it was very, um, just impactful for me. The script in general and the full project was just therapeutic and fun and, and, and just revealed all these layers of myself I didn't even know about and it was just a great crew and cast. We all were like a family. So it was, it was just the most amazing. It sounds like it was a very, very cool experience. Barbara, you've had like this mad success already. What do you think you pulled from in your career so far to bring to this character? Yes, I've been working on a few projects in the past um, year and a half and actually Bob Trevino was my last project that I filmed um, and you know I did I did one film in Hungary 
and I, I learned a lot from my castmates. And then I did another one. I did like more of a, a harder one that, um, you know, it was a whole different vibe. And that was also a leading role. It was my first time, you know, being like the number one on the call sheet. And I was like very nervous and, you know, all this stuff. So that really helped me because I was like, okay, I did something where I, I, I am the lead character of a movie. I've never done that before. It's, a, it's very daunting. I feel like it's like the, the cheerleader captain, you know, I think of that <laughs> yeah, as kind yeah. of the, you know, I try to be like, you know, like, you know, I keep a good vibe. Um, so I learned a lot through that. And then with this project, I came in, I was like, okay, cool. I did it once. You know, I'm kind of, you know, it, it, every production is completely different. Um, but I was like, okay, I'm confident enough. I, I did it once. I can do this again. And then with the material, it was just so special and um, just unlocked a lot in me that as an actor, I, I had it before. And um, it just because of Tracy's incredible writing and Tracy's amazing guidance and John and French and everyone just, get, Lolo, who's incredible, everyone just giving so much to it and also the love of the crew and everyone was so um, tender about it and very precious about this project because we really cared about it. We're all mm -hmm. doing it because we loved it, you know, right, and right. we all have our own family traumas that um, you can bring to the project. You can bring to the table. <laughs> That's good. It's going to be good to come down to it. Right. Bring your family right. trauma day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Too funny. And, John, you, we were talking a little bit offline. You're like almost that EGOT situation. So many awards. Like, I mean, just a really amazing career. I could see why you were like, you know, Tracy, oh, my God, I got, like, John. What have you brought out of everything that you've done, like, to this character? Well, it was interesting because... I mean, I love independent films. This is my favorite genre because they're story-driven, they're character-driven, they're about the human condition. You know, it's not about a, a ride or trying to sell merchandise. Mm. You can tell real personal stories. And, and to find a script like this so beautifully written and so uh, respectful of its characters, it, I, I, I was looking forward to it because this role, I get to be a little bit more of myself. You know, I get to be more uh, me as nice. opposed to, like, you know, I'm a, you know, edgy this guy or, or, or a, you know, a, a villain or a, or a cop or, or some kind of like thuggy thing. This was like just more human. natural. Yeah, yeah, it's a human story and, and I could get to be myself. And so the challenge is there is how do you, how do you be yourself on camera? So that, that was fun. Talk to me a little bit about your writing process, Tracy. Um, well, this, this was... Uh, it was interesting because this, you know, you write. A, I write a lot of. It usually takes me a long time to write a script, but this I was so motivated, and I knew it was bigger than me, you know, which was a nice, nice thing. And I wasn't so self-conscious because I, w I was like, I'm serving something, you know, mm. and, I, and I was writing it to say w what this friend has meant to me, you know. So, um, so that helped a lot. But, um, but this is very vulnerable, you know. This story is well, very that's personal. I was very wondering vulnerable. how, how do you handle that process when yeah. you're kind of. It's almost looking into yourself and being able to share that at the same time yeah. and n not getting too close but close enough to be able to critique yourself. That's not yeah. easy to do, right? I think oh, it was, it, it, it's a double thing here because like I would, I knew I had to lean into the fear and the vulnerability and I don't know if I could have done that if, it, if I didn't know that the, the why was bigger than me, mm. you know? And, and so um, it was like, okay, whatever happens, you know. I mean, thank, thank goodness people are responding positively to it because I've been this vulnerable and people are like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That would be that wrong, right? That happens often <laughs> to a lot of people. Right. <laughs> then you'd be like, never again. I, that right. would have right. not been so great. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good feeling. So you nailed it. <laughs> How long did you guys work together on this? Um, well, yeah, well, we, 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 yeah well, we, we had started prepping, you know, she was first on and we started collabor meeting and, and collaborating on the character and stuff probably like over a year, you know. I mean, yeah, so that's pretty quick though, no? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think this was relative, it was, it was interesting, it was really hard, the, ch the, the, the production and, and all of it was like really, uh, any, any film is a miracle, but this one was like a real miracle. Yeah. It was 19, <laughs> 19 days yeah, and she had yeah. a lot of locations. Yeah, 18, 18. 18 yeah, yeah, even less. Don't give us an extra Even less, yeah, I would have yeah. loved to have 19. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, 18 days, 20 locations, you know. Um, he was, he came down to Kentucky, she was there, you know, the whole time, obviously. So um, we just had a, yeah, we were, the whole, sh 18 days. So was time like the biggest constraint when you say challenges? Uh, it was, in, in part because we had a lot of obstacles. You know, we've, we we were one of the first productions to get the SAG waiver. You know, we're proof that that you really? can you can respect okay, actors. Yeah, that's cool. You can right. you can do you know this you don't there doesn't need to be greed here. We can we can make this happen. You know, um, we we proved that we could we could do it. So that 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 it was it was honor for us for me to be uh, to do the SAG to get the SAG waiver. We're one of the, we, we went down on our second day though because uh, we had to get the waiver. 
but when we got it, it we, were, we were proving, you know, that. Yeah, because we were yeah. shooting. Yeah. We had started shooting, and then the strike happened. Yeah. So she had a, you know, we stop shooting. We lost a shooting. day yeah, yeah. For, for that while we got that. But well, luckily, it was only a day. Yeah, I, I know. yeah she was and, so and lucky. I was, and and, and it, for me as a director, it was like, you know, time is everything. I yeah. fought for every day in that schedule, so to lose a whole day was tough. But and we had weather issues and you know, other things. But, but, um, but we got, you know, we made it up. We made yeah. it up because they're amazing. There's no other cast in the world I could have done this with, like because Aww. they're just so incredible and they showed up so prepared. And we just, you know, they nailed it. They had to show up prepared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to show up prepared. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we, don't, we, got, we, don't, we don't have long. Right. <laughs> we got to do some rehearsals, too, yeah, on Ducky, yeah. which was really helpful. I mean, sometimes so helpful. It's, it's helpful to even just read it through. Mm -hmm. Obviously not over-rehearse. I'm, I'm kind of always superstitious about that. Like, if mm -hmm. I over-rehearse it, it's going to be really, you know, stale yeah. and not or good. Or stiff. But Having the creating that bond with everyone, with John, with Brent, with Lolo, with Tracy, even even though we had been talking already, mm -hmm. um, we hadn't been like in Kentucky yeah. together yeah. or seeing each other every day. So it was really nice to have that prep because we were like, okay, it's show time. We got to, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of emotions, a lot of dialogue, a lot of different things to do in one day, um, and kind of just making sure that we show up 100% yeah. every day, yeah. even if it's hard, even if it's you know everything. It's it was really important to me and to everyone, I, 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 I assume. Yeah, well, uh, I, I was, assume. <laughs> <laughs> to the crew, we assume the correct. I yeah, assume, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to assume it correctly. But for the cast and crew, I think everyone <laughs> shows up giving their 100% yeah. at, at all times, and everyone really wanted to be mm. there. So it was yeah. really. It sounds like it was just an amazing set to work on, yeah. and congratulations yeah. again. Um, I don't want to keep you guys because I know you have a million places to go, <laughs> but just to kind of um, wrap up, would love to know, you know, you're all super successful. But I'm sure that there is like kind of the other side of that, right? I get to, s to see you at this point, but not when you're dealing with either projects that you might not have been able to kind of like bring to the light and so much more. What is it like for you to be able to kind of either shepherd those or you know when to kind of put them away? How, how have you handled that in your careers before? I don't, I don't like to put anything away. <laughs> Good for you. Because, you know, there's so many like uh, movies that took 10 years to get made is, or, 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 or plays or musicals. It could take it could take a lifetime. So you, why give up? You just I, I think I think you you keep working on it. You keep improving it, uh, and then you keep bringing it out because uh, things change. All, you know, people were saying we're, we're only doing rom coms, so uh, they're only buying rom coms, and then they're only buying horror, and then they're only buying uh, 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 holiday shows. So like, there's always a weird ask. And you and you never have the right project at the time, right, but right. eventually somehow those things line up, and you have the seasonal project that they're looking for. I think that's a really good point because you know it is a business, and talking yeah. about kind of market opportunities, trends, so we're trends, only looking yeah. for that. And I think the beauty of the, the company that's sponsoring this, Filmio, is that kind of all that goes away, mm. gets rid of the gatekeepers who have right. a lot of those trends, so that the stories that the creatives want to bring out to light can be brought to light. And so it's just like super exciting. I'm really like, I don't know, just interested to see what all of you do next, if it's a project together or so much more. Anything else that you want to bring up before we wrap up? Um, yeah, I just, well, the mo uh, one thing about our movie is that it was about chosen family, and I think one thing that was really beautiful about all of us is I feel like we kind of became a family Aww. on set. And um, to, to be making a movie about family, about finding your family, found family, chosen family, yes. uh, with people that have, you know, that you love so much, uh, is just really special, and I hope that you know, people will feel that when they see the movie. This so. is so nice. Have you guys seen it with an audience yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So was it fun? 450 yeah. sold out people. No. Good Three for standing you. ovations. Oh, we love it. Okay, so yeah. you guys, you got to see this, huh? Oh, it's yeah, hot. you better see it. You got to see it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're missing out. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time. I really appreciate it. You guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been another interview during the official Filmio Filmmakers Lounge right here at South by Southwest 2024. I'm Lauren DeLisa Coleman.